NASA's head of human spaceflight says the agency stands behind its astronauts following claims that a U.S. crew member at the International Space Station sabotaged a Russian Soyuz spacecraft in 2018, causing an air leak at the orbiting laboratory. During a media teleconference, NASA says the personal attacks against Serena Ornan Chancellor were baseless. On August 29, 2018, ISS controllers noticed a slight pressure drop aboard the orbiting outpost. They notified the crew the next day, and the crew was able to trace the leak to a small hole in Russia's Soyuz MS-09 spacecraft, which had docked to the space station in June with Ornan Chancellor, European Space Agency astronaut Alexander Gust and Russian cosmonaut Sergei Prokopiev. Prokopiev patched the 2mm hole using epoxy and gauze. NASA officials stressed that the crew was never in any danger. Russian space officials decided to investigate the leak, determined to find out its cause. Dmitry Rogozin announced it was a drill hole. The person who made the hole had a faltering hand. Nearby scuff marks that likely resulted when the drill slipped. Russian officials went one step further insinuating that the unsteady hand was likely due to the culprit drilling in microgravity, meaning one of the crew was to blame, not the Russian engineers involved in the assembly and testing of the Soyuz spacecraft before launch down on Earth. NASA officials knew the precise locations of the US astronauts before the leak occurred and at the moment it began, thanks to space station surveillance. The video footage indicated that none of the US astronauts on the station were near the Russian segment where the Soyuz vehicle was docked. But the Russians didn't buy it. They were convinced that one of the crew sabotaged the Soyuz.